Hi there. My name is Teresa Tucker and I am an independent Stampin' Up! De demonstrator. I have been um, stamping since about 2006. And I came back to uh, Stampin' Up! almost two years ago. And I'm running it as a business now and instead of a hobby demonstrator. I'm really enjoying it and I'm trying to find myself online so give me a moment let's see I think I need to refresh my page and here we are okay <clears throat> and hopefully I don't have any problems with this. So, again, my name is Teresa Tucker, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been with Stampin' Up! as running it as a business since well, it's been about two years ago that I came back to Stampin' Up! But I've been stamping for years. I I started um, I started creating cards about 2006 when I first joined Stampin' Up! and now um, I've been back I've been back for almost two years like I said but before that I was doing scrapbook pages and looks like my friend Carol's here hi Carol I can see you on my phone <laughs> I can't see you on my computer but I can see you on my phone <laughs> that's awesome oh my goodness girl I'm so glad you're here so, um, I apologize that I wasn't here last night for Technique Thursday. I wasn't feeling well yesterday and I really tried to hold on and then I just couldn't. So I, I, I'm sorry. I, I wish I'd have been here, but I just couldn't do it. So, um, yeah. And as a result, I ended up sleeping almost 12 hours. So I was really not feeling well last night, but here I am tonight. And so tonight we're going to um, learn how to do the drapery fold, which is a beautiful fold. And if you haven't done it before, you're going to be amazed. Okay, so I need a couple of things here. Let's see. I guess that would go okay. That one would too. Okay, so... Um, I just want to mention right off the jump, though, that this is my host code for May. So if you purchase anything through my store, you'll there'll be a, a, a place to put in a host code. And this is the code that you want to use because after you've created, after over a period of time, after you have placed a number of orders with me, then you um get a $50 shopping spree on me. So I want to be sure to do that. And if you haven't done this before, then I will set up a spreadsheet. I'll share it with you and we can keep track of your orders together. So for every $25, you get a Tucker token. So I'll explain more of that later. Um, this is my email address if you want to email me. And this is how you shop with me. This is my blog. And that's where I direct most everybody is to my blog because that's where all the information is. And at the end of this video, I will create a, um, I will create instructions, printable instructions and a list of supplies and they will all be on my blog. But I will put that in this, um, at the end of this blog too. So it'll be part of the description. So, and this is where we are now. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I got my Poochie Carter with me tonight. So hopefully he, he uh, doesn't get rowdy or anything and cause any commotions. I don't think he will. He likes to be with his mama. So I use both sides of my, <laughs> my seven by seven paper. I don't waste any of it. So let's get started. So tonight I'm using a 11 by four and a quarter piece of um, evening evergreen 
it's one of the new colors so it's evening evergreen cardstock and then I will also be using four and three quarter by 10 pansy petal designer series paper. I will also be using a four by four of the basic white. And then this one is, I did not write the size on here. So this one is three by three. All right, so we're gonna need our score. We're gonna need to cut this and we're also going, going to, need to need to score it. So I'm gonna grab my cutter, my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. And if this is too glaring because of my light, then I can um, shut it off and see if we can do without the one. Okay. So with this piece of um, designer series paper, we're going to turn it over to the back. Um, this one here, um, because there is no direction, like some things are directional, like for an example, I mean that um, designer series paper will just go in one direction. So here's the paper. So for instance, this one here definitely goes up that way. So when you cut it, you need to keep that in mind. I won't be covering this, how to cut this directional paper tonight, but we will do that probably um, at the end of next week on Thursday. <clears throat> so for this, we need to measure one and, oops, we need to measure three fourths of an inch We need to measure it from this corner here. So I'm gonna just put a little mark on here at three quarter. And then on the opposite corner, so you see we've got it here and now we're gonna put it down here at three quarter. All right. So now we're going to cut that from here to here. We're going to cut it at a diagonal. And the easiest way to do that is to line it up on your paper trimmer so that you can see the line on this end and the line on that end. So there's just enough space through here. This is where the score and the cutting blade go right in this area. And so you can see through there and see exactly where you're going to cut. So we're going to hold this in place and cut it at a diagonal. So now we end up with two, well, I'm going to need this again. We end up with two pieces. So you can make two cards with this, but we're only going to use this card right now. <clears throat> so let me see. I've got some instructions. Um, Okay, so on the large end, we are going to score this at two inches. We'll do it this way. Score it two inches. And then we'll score it three inches. We'll score it five inches. and six inches. And we're gonna open this up. And we'll score it again at eight inches. And nine inches. Okay, so now we're done with the paper trimmer. I'll get that out of the way. All right, so what we're gonna do with this piece is we're gonna fold this, for, we're gonna fold it, we wanna, we wanna valley, yeah, valley, and then a mountain, and a valley, and 
and a mountain and a valley and a mountain okay so that is your drapery fold it took me a couple of times doing this before I got it right um, one reason was I in, I started out with a directional piece of designer series paper and my um, my drapery was going the opposite way of what I actually wanted it to do and I'm going to show you one of those cards tonight because I'm I went ahead and used it I made a card out of it so I'm going to show that to you so we're going to um, let's go ahead and fold this in half hi Carol oh my goodness <laughs> You're cracking me up. I wish I had some of that right now, actually. <laughs> you get Tucker points by <laughs> by ordering off of me. You don't want to do that. You're a demonstrator. Okay. So we're going to put this on here. Before we do that, though, we want to... You want to adhere this together. So it doesn't move around so the first time I did this I used tear and tape which I thought worked great I've used my stamp and seal a couple times since then and I I don't think it holds quite as well I feel like I'm shedding I'm sorry I'm sorry all right we'll try to run this along here now and get that to stay closed and then this piece here we'll just put a little bit right there there we go keep it down all right so now we're going to put it on here on this this is pumpkin pie cardstock this is so easy once you get this part done because basically I mean the rest of the we're just going to put the card together for the rest of it I'm going to put a little tape right there right there right there keep those down Okay, and then we're just going to put it on the front of the card. I feel like, did I not cut this right? I'm going to let it be. It's fine. All right, so for the top, because we want, I want an extra piece of white cardstock at the top, because that's where I'm going to um, put, that's where I'm going to put a pansy at. So let me put this down. Thanks, Carol. I like it too. It's pretty. <laughs> Stop it. Why, why have you had two shots of tequila, girl? I mean, well, I don't want to cut that off. What are you celebrating? Are you going on that cruise? Now's the time to ask that question. You crack me up. Okay, so here's the pansy. Now, do you have the pansy, pansy, um, yeah, the pansy stamp sets? Here we go. Pansy patch. Do you have the stamp set? It's pretty amazing and. So what I did here was I used the dies and I cut out the pansy with those dies. I need a couple of leaves though and I didn't get those done so we're going to do that right now.
Oh, I love the, uh, I love the, the dies for this. They're so cool. It kind of reminds me of the rose. Okay. So we have a large and a small. Okay, I'll send you some more details. So that's going to go in here like that. That's going to be one of our leaves. So I'll just, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on there. <clears throat> so Carol Mulvain, um, I had a friend contact me about a cruise to the Greek Isles next June. And I've cruised with this girl before, <laughs> her family. They're Christians. They're very nice. Her mom and dad are amazing. And um, I don't know who all is going from her family. I haven't met everybody, but I've been on a cruise with them twice. And they usually get a group rate when they, um, when they cruise. So she sent me a, a, a message on Facebook. I guess it must have been Monday and asked me if Mike and I would be interested in going. So we're like, wow, the Greek Isles. Oh my goodness. Well, yes, I think we would be able to <laughs> since it's not until next year. Um, so unfortunately the cruise started filling up really fast and they don't have I, we couldn't be included in the group rate, which really kind of is a bummer, but we still get 60% off. Michael pay full price and I get 60% off. And then the, um, the, uh, travel agent, she's going to give each cabin an extra $200 of onboard credit because she really wanted me and Mike to book with her. So I've been trying to fill up this other cabin, which we had filled. And then the guy backed out on it. And I kind of wonder if he did that because he's not married. He hasn't been married for a long time, but aren't those leaves pretty? They're so pretty. All right. So <clears throat> let's um, figure out what we're going to do with the sayings on here. I thought I would put, I thought I would put something right down here. Um, and... I do a lot of thank you cards and the reason for that is because every time a, a customer buys something from me online, then I send them a thank you card. And so whatever thank you card I make for that month is the one that they're going to receive. So sometimes I get extra orders because people want the thank you card. So um, I think, uh, what do you guys think? Hmm. Eh, I'm going to do happy birthday. I'm going rogue. <laughs> now, which one is that? It's this one. I will get the black memento ink and the block. Well, anyway, <clears throat> about that cruise, um, if I can get this, this other cabin booked, then, then that person or that couple will also get $200 of onboard credit. Not only that, we will have met the quota that we need for the extra perks that we will get from Royal Caribbean. Um, and that's usually more onboard credit, free stuff, and things like that. Let me grab my uh, pierce mat. So there's a little bit of an incentive to do that. 
we will probably go over a couple days in advance and stay in Rome for a couple of days. There we go. That's pretty. Now I'm going to make sure my hands are clean. I am notorious for getting black ink on stuff. So I've learned that I need to clean my hands off every time I stamp anything with black ink. Thank you, Carol. All right. So we're going to put this here and then we'll put the leaves underneath the petals. I love pansies. So I get my flowers from the St. Joe Ogden FFA and I just picked up my flowers yesterday from their greenhouse here in St. Joe. And uh, that kind of looks like ears. I don't like it. Where are we going to put this? Like that? Okay. I need some vegetables. And I'm going to need some pretties. Ooh. And let's see. I'm sorry. I'm being noisy. I think I've got some dimensionals already open. I do, they're right here. Okay, so let's put some dimensionals on here. Oh, before we do that, should we put some ribbon across here? Freesha. Or maybe I just make a bow and put a bow on there. So these friends of ours, um, I used to work with this girl at Carl and then they moved to Springfield and then she got a different job over at Lincoln College. And um, maybe I'll put that there. First, I'm going to snip it off. She was at our wedding. Mike and I got married. It'd be eight years. My goodness. He's getting old. <laughs> oh, I'm teasing. Uh oh, cut that the wrong direction. This side is going this way. Okay, so that's fresh freesia. And I can put that here. I can put this over here. Or I can just put that kind of with it. Yeah, I don't like it there. Okay. I have to think through this stuff. All right, so I'm going to put this dimensional on here and then this one. And since this is raised, let me see if I need to put one or if I just need to put glue under there. Put some glue. I think I can get by with the glue. Put this piece. And some glue on here, on here, on here. I think that's all I need. Pull these off. Come on. There. 
I'll turn a little bit more like that. I'll turn this one a little like that. And I don't know if I want this bow on here anywhere. I don't think it really goes, do you? Nah. Nah. Mm -mm. We're going to leave it off. All right. So you think on the edge of the orange? <laughs> you think here? Below the flowers and above the greeting. Like right here? All right. You guys make up my mind and I'll add it. But right now I'm going to put on some something pretty. There's um, little flowers and some bumblebee trinkets and these frosted and clear epoxy. I don't know why I buy all of these dots and stuff because I don't, I never know which ones to use. There's too many of them. I can't decide. And I know it's not going to be those. And it's not going to be the gold. I kind of like this. It's not going to be the black. So you think up here? I don't know. I could always add it later. Or how about up here? Yeah. I'll worry about it later. Okay. It's not going to be these or these. Silver and clear epoxy. These are just clear epoxy. I think I'm going to go with this. So these are the silver. And these are the clear. These look like raindrops to me. And with the right kind of flower, it'd be really pretty, like just off of the edge of the petal like that. Just hanging on the edge of the petal. You know, like the, like the dew hangs on the flowers. You see it in the morning when you go out. I think I'm going to use these. Something pink? You really think something pink? Like these? <laughs> Skip the bow. I agree. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do you think pink is going to go with this pumpkin? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to use these. Put one down here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty to me. Put one there. We'll put one up here. Now this is going to make four, so I got to put one more. You got to go odd with these. Let's go there. What do you think of that? I don't think I like that there. Uh oh. Have you ever had that happen? <laughs> the adhesive stuck and the dot came off. Let's see if I can fix this.
I think it's fixed. How's that? Do you like that? It's pretty. That's it. But I think on Thursday next week, I'm going to um, show you how to do those pansies. So my kids are moving this weekend. <laughs> they built a house and so they're moving and tomorrow I'm going to have my grandsons. So I thought, well, I better get some of this crafting done tonight. Nope, I don't think that's going to work. All right. So that is that. But let me show you a couple of other cards that I made while I was doing this. <clears throat> this one. I wrote some of my dimensions down because I didn't want to forget. So here's one of them. I did this one free as a bird. And for this, so this ribbon that we get, it's sheer. So you can see right through it. I didn't want to see right through it because this, that's where the, the transition is between the drapery fold and the top of the card. So I just put a piece of um, balmy blue, like a half inch balmy blue um, cardstock underneath there. And then I put the ribbon over the top of it so that it looks more solid. And then I colored these with Daffodil Delight. And um, I did that with um, magenta. And let's get this off of here. These are the opal colored ones that I had out a moment ago. Yeah, the opal rounds, that's what these are. And then these are the blue back adhesive. Um, it's these here. That's what that is. <clears throat> so with this card, I initially wanted this other side to be up. But this is one of them that um, I couldn't, I didn't um, cut it and and fold it correctly. So this is how it turned out, which still isn't bad. I like it. Let's put that back in here. And then this one, this is the one that I um, made backwards, <laughs> which is fine. I like it still. And um, did the same thing here. I used the succulent, succulent, what's the name of that? I don't remember. Succulent, something succulent. Anyway, I'll probably remember after we're finished. <laughs> um, so I uh, so I put that piece of cardstock across there before I put the ribbon down, just kind of so that you couldn't see through it. So that's that one and my card. I mean my envelope. Let's set that here. And then this is one that I I made. It's this is the um, double drapery fold, and I thought it turned out pretty good. I like it. Um, I used so much happy. <clears throat> A stamp set so this will actually retire at the end of June and then the um, I use the oh the greenery embroider I use the greenery embroidered um, embossing folder and then um, basic white and crushed curry was is what this is around the edge and the pansy petals designer series paper the gorgeous grape uh, cardstock here. I used the, with the oval dies, and then of course I stamped that on um, basic white. And then this ribbon here is the polished pink, and I did the same thing with that one. I put a piece of cardstock underneath it so that it looked more solid. And then these are the in color um, polished pink little jewels gems. So 
that's it so do you have anything else you guys want to talk about anything <laughs> um yeah that didn't take us very long did it i should stamp the inside of this i don't even have a piece of cardstock in there so anyway i will be back here again on uh thursday and we'll pull out the pansy um petals pansy patch and play with those a little bit too so anyway that's all i have and thank you so much for hanging in there with me carol <laughs> <Little thing. laughs> i'll talk to you later <laughs> bye bye